Hi and welcome to another video for Linux.net. On Monday uh, the 30th of November I did a live stream and the following video you're going to see is an excerpt of that. I tried to tackle uh, the Maggie P-Boot image which has uh, 17 distributions for the Pine phone, although technically six of those are postmark address and one is drum drive. Um, so it's just a little less, but anyway, uh, have fun with watching the video. Unfortunately, I screwed up and forgot uh, to turn on local recording in OBS Studio, so this is just YouTube quality from now on. I hope it's bearable. Have fun. Another interesting one is Memo Lester. So this is Memo Lester, which is the OS that uh, or is is the continuation of Memo 5, which uh, ran on the N900. This here is uh, good old original Memo here, and this is Memo Lester. As you can see, it has fewer apps. It has a few apps here in the Debian category, and if you install a random app from the terminal, uh, that one will likely also appear there. They don't have a phone dialer app yet or an SMS app, but they recently added a calendar app. So that's, by the way, a quite nice one. And I think I've got another phone running memo last year. Yeah. Of course, it's not booted. Oh, it is booted, but it's booted in the wrong system. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I had to use my preparation time on fighting snaps today. Um, yeah, that's the calendar. It shows you the week. Uh, so this is the... We are in week 49, I guess. Yeah. And then like this, I can add a new event in next year. Try Friday, November 12th, and let's see if that keyboard is... Oh, no, it's not deactivated. Uh, not activated by default, I think. So you have to go into the settings app here with Memo Lister and text input, use virtual keyboard. It should be there. Maybe it's only there on second boot or something. Sometimes this stuff is a bit strange. Let's just see if it works on the terminal. Yeah, there it comes up. So apparently the keyboard does not work with that calendar app, uh, which is, well, the camera app is cute based. This likely isn't, so maybe that plays a role. But since uh, many of Memoless's supported devices are devices with hardware keyboards, um, this is something that maybe wasn't caught yet, but they are very much in development. It's a nice um, project, and I like what they're doing. It's really, uh, I mean, you can say why, why bother with that, but it's a, a current uh, dev one, and um, they are generally running current kernels, mainline, and RAM use is really impressive. Look at that. Um, on the Pine phone with 3 gigabytes of RAM, it's at 2.85 gigabytes. And here on that thing, it's way less. I think it's at uh, 150, but it only has uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM. So it shouldn't use too much, right? Yeah. So let's see what this, whether that works at all or whether something happens. 
Maybe I would uh, have to use x some x render commands or something to make this work. Oh, uh, uses the speaker of the lapdog. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'd stop this. Sorry for that. Okay. Now, yeah, that's it on the Droid 4. Um, how do I increase brightness again? Yeah, it's quite nice. I've I installed some apps here and they mostly work. So if you've got one of these old devices, something to try there.